Hi, it's Jess from ForTheLandlords.com. Just noticed I've got really bad hat hair. Yeah, we'll, we'll press on. Okay, um, I'm in a property today. It's a bit of a case study. I'll give you the numbers to start off with. So the, the first thing is we've owned this house for a decade. So I'm back in here after a tenant has left. We've had two tenants in that period of time. We bought this house for £48,500. We spent £12,500 on the work. Immediately when we'd done it, 10 years ago, the work, done the work, it was worth uh, 80,000 pounds. So we refinanced it and uh, pulled, pulled most of our money back out uh, that, a, a decade ago. Sounds great, it is great. Uh, all that period of time it's, it's rented out for, uh, initial rental was 475 and then we got 550. Right now it's back on the market for 625. And I'm pretty sure we'll have this rented out before the work's done. I mean, if we just have a little pan around now, you'll see that I've got some, I've got some things to show you about this property as well. So, um, this house right now is worth £170,000. So, um, yeah, five, six years on, it, it went over the £100,000 barrier. And now it's, yeah, it's well into the, uh, it's well on the way to be worth £200,000, being honest. And if you look around uh, the locale, there are houses not very far away that are worth two hundred thousand pounds, so I'm sure that this will be one of them. One of them soon. Uh, the area is kind of regenerating as well. Uh, we we look for these kind of houses, and uh, I would buy them all day long for obvious reasons. One of the questions we get asked by clients, it's a really valid one, and that's why we're here today. Is um, okay, great, good numbers. How how often do you have to come back and do some work? You know, can you lose all those gains? by you know, having to fit new kitchens every five minutes, have new bathrooms every five minutes. Now, well, first of all, I've told you the numbers up front, so you'd have to spend an awful lot of money to be um, eroding those kind of um, rental profits for one and capital gains for the other. This, this place has lived on its rental profits all that period of time. Uh, we've spent 850 pounds on maintenance throughout that period of time, that's been it. Uh, now, there have been extra costs to that, but I call them capital costs, and I'll explain why in a minute. They were about 2,000 pounds. Uh, incidentally, the, the 12 and a half grand we spent on the renovation, in today's money, that would be 14 and a half, maybe even 15,000 pounds. The capital costs I'm talking about, that 2,000 pounds we spent in the last decade, I think, well, I know now, we should have spent that money right up front, the day we bought the house, we should have spent that. So if I have a little look around now, um, I'll try and do the panning thing with this uh, clever camera stuff. So there's an extractor fan. There's a brand new radiator. Um, same in every room, um, not extractor fan particularly in every room, but uh, there are definitely new radiators in every room. There's a new radiator there, there you see, and we have put an extractor fan in this room. One of the things this, thing, this property, strugg um, property struggled with throughout the tenancy, the last one in particular, the first one wasn't actually bad, so a lot of it was down to tenant behaviour, but that, that's no excuse on, uh, as, a, as a landlord, you've got, to, you've got to provide a decent and safe home. This house was under insulated, I mean it was, it was as it's built, it's a Victorian terrace house. Um, the heating didn't get it up to, get it up to temperature and uh, we've added extra ventilation. So for £2,000 in this property we've upgraded the insulation, put a, put a, um, a humidity sensing um, fan in every room which honestly is a bit over the top you see that hole there that will be a humidity sensing fan and we put a huge great big radiator in every room as well so we've got a bit overboard on it we've got a grant for some of the um insulation i'm not sure if that, i think that might actually have run out now i'm not sure we did that about two and a half years ago so yeah while the tenant was there we're doing our best to keep it um to keep it right but we've, we've, we've once they've left now we've, we've really gone overboard to make sure we just don't have any of these problems again um, but yeah, look, to answer your question, let's get to this bathroom. Um, it's here before the decorators, so you know, they've prepped a load of stuff. I mean, this wall looks terrible, look at that, you know. That's because it's just been prepared, ready for painting. The same with the ceiling, it's just had a, 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 a few bits there that have recorked and siliconed and it's got a few drill marks in it and stuff. So, yeah, the wall looks terrible because it hasn't been decorated and as soon as it's decorated it'll be fine, but look at this. That is the original bathroom. So is that. I think we had to stick a tile back. Yeah. That's the original floor. That is 10 years old. And if the tenant had looked after it a little bit better, and if we weren't now putting all of these extra radiators and, and fans and whatnot in it, this tenant term would have been a lick of pain. 
it would have, it would have been literally a lick of paint. If we go downstairs, similar story. Yeah, there's muck everywhere. Decorators are in. It always looks worse than it is. You know, I've got I got some paint chips around a door as people have come down. It's not going to cost. That that's one of the things that the tenants paid for. You know, um, that's not fair wear and tear. In this room. Yeah, real mess there, look, because I put a great big radiator there, but that's, that's all it is really. Um, yeah, there's a few holes in the walls where tenants have left pictures. I'd rather they didn't, but do you know what? And they've been charged for it, but I was decorating anyway, wasn't I, look? Um, I had to because of the, uh, the work that needed doing. Let's go through into the kitchen. <laughs> Same kitchen. Our kitchen's 10 years old. It has got a new hob. Cleaners are coming after the decorators. Um, that's not a great shot of it, but uh, there's, a, there's a new um, new cupboard door to go over that boiler where it needs to be boxed in. But uh, the, 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 the amount of work we've had to do to this house because of you know, it being 10 years old, rather than being a capital upgrade, which is like I say, two, three grand, um, is very, very minimal. The bathroom and the kitchen and the basic fabric of the house have done really well over the last 10 years and haven't really needed much at all. So uh, those numbers are almost totally you know, property return, total profit. Um, capital return, I've refinanced this property and pulled some more money out of it. Uh, I've actually pulled enough money out of this to buy three more houses uh, in that period of time, deposits on three more houses. So um, the, the model works really, really, really well. Uh, you might be interested in knowing more about that. A uh, little bit down below, there'll be a box there. Um, put your details in uh, or click on it. It depends what type of box it is. Um, we run a, a monthly discovery day where you can come to our offices, uh, get all the questions that you need answering answered, find out exactly how we find, fix and rent a house exactly like this one. We're not buying houses like this in this area anymore. Yeah up above £150,000, it's pretty hard to buy this again in this area. But we are buying houses exactly like this in other locations, be it uh, North Nottinghamshire, Yorkshire, Lancashire. Um, yeah, we, we are buying in new areas where we, we are repeating exactly the same thing as we've done here uh, in different parts of the UK. Um, and and doing, a, doing a lovely job of renovating a house and regenerating communities as well. You know, don't forget when, when we did this in Nottingham, I, I'm in Nottingham now, that's where this house is. Um, we bought, oh, well, I was gonna say, over, uh, let's say it's over a hundred, definitely over a hundred houses in Nottingham. Uh, this was in a very poor state of repair in a reasonably unloved neighborhood when we did bought this about 10 years ago. And doing what we did to all those houses in those areas, um, it's definitely regenerated the area, um, added to the community, and we provided a decent and safe home for the tenant for that 10 years, and we will continue to do that when this tenant moves in as well. So um, I guess we're, we're always learning. Some of the things that we've done differently, we would do differently is I would put those radiators in and the, uh, the insulation and the, the humidity sensing extractors in on day one, but you know, um, that's with hindsight. Uh, but for the last 10 years, we've definitely provided a decent, safe home for, uh, for a tenant. And the whole investment has worked out well. So um, book yourself onto a discovery day. And hopefully I will get, get, get to see you uh, when you come and see us um, in the uh, not too distant future. Bye for now.